All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, I have now created memberships for my channel, which is another way you could support me. And with those memberships, uh, it's easy to get to it. At the bottom of every single video, down by the title, there is going to be a join button. And that is how you can join and uh, you know, be part of the memberships that I'm going to be doing here on YouTube. And I have already done a quick video. You can go look for it where I uh, talk about what those memberships are going to entail. I do plan on doing more elsewhere to help generate revenue and to be able to communicate with my audiences more uh, over on a different platform coming up. We'll be talking about that here in the future. Uh, but let's get into to today's uh, information. I will be back with a uh, trailer reaction to Joker 2 uh, when that gets released later today. But only memberships will be able to see those videos. That's primarily what those are going to be. Those trailer reactions get struck by the studios. And to bypass that, I'm just going to go ahead and put those for my members. Uh, so if you want to be a member, uh, you can hit that join button at the bottom of the screen. So let's take a look at what we have going on since yesterday. First of all, I laughed when I saw this. This isn't the first time that James Gunn has posted something like this. Um, I personally think this is disgusting. Being a religious person myself, uh, I don't find this funny. I don't find it humorous. And James Gunn said, so Nathan Fillion brought a bunch of stickers he's put all over the Superman set today, including... Uh, someone's computer here. And he made it a point to take a picture of this and show this. And I do find this disgusting. And some people will disagree with me and think this is funny. I don't. Uh, I, I think that for some reason, Christians are the only religion you can mock in this country and not get in trouble for it. Uh, and I, I'm, I think it's, it's disgusting. And this is what this is. This is a mockery, all right? And I don't think Nathan Fillion meant anything against this, but James Gunn is going out of his way to show this. And this isn't the first time he's done this. Someone also made, uh, I posted this a while back, where somebody had made T-shirts with his picture on it, and he posted those too. This is the sign of a narcissist, guys. And it's all about James Gunn. And I could tell you that if my friends did something like this, I'd be embarrassed to show it. I wouldn't want to show it. If people made t-shirts with my face on it, I wouldn't want to show that anywhere. Um, I think it's goofy. It, it, he, he has always got to show. He has this need. James Gunn has this need to show that people like him. People that are narcissists need that, that, that reinforcement. Uh, people that don't do that are just who they are. But James Gunn can't help himself, guys. This th I find this to be ridiculous. All right, I have to thank Paul J. Campbell for the super uh, super thanks here for the $20 on my last video where Dave and Corrin Sweat talks about Superman and Wonder Woman casting buzz. Uh, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm always going to call out those that go above and beyond. So thank you, Paul. All right, so there are more Batman the Animated Series Lego sets on the way. They just had released that diorama set of the skyline of Gotham City, which I'm not really interested in getting. But there are more details on a rumored Lego DC set 76274 Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. I'm going to have to see actual pictures of this. I tried to click on the link, and it wouldn't bring it up. And I would have to see what the car looks like before I commit to picking it up. But I do like collecting certain Batman Legos. I do have the 89 car as well as the as the Batwing, and I would probably pick this up too if it looks cool enough, but I haven't seen actual pictures of it just yet. All right, now this was big news yesterday. It says, today's the day Warner Brothers Discovery can sell itself. Buyers may be hard to find. All right, I read this whole article yesterday. I think it was in the Hollywood Reporter or something like that, or Variety. It was one of the two. And it did not paint a very good picture of Warner Brothers at all. And know that this company can now legally be sold. And there's actually, there's absolutely no noise going on out there of them being sold. There's no 
We're not hearing anything other than these couple of articles. And what this article basically said is that their stock is low. It's very low and could have a takeover if it gets low enough and there's no confidence in what is happening. And right now, there were several investors who said there isn't a whole lot of confidence in Warner Brothers because they do not have a path forward. They're not showing investors how they're going to have this path forward to really dig themselves out of debt. They are hammering away at it little by little. Now, here's what's interesting about this article. It looks like they are going to be leaning heavily, and I mean heavily, on the DCU. They believe that the DCU, at least this is what the investors got from Zaslav, is they believe that this is going to be the brand that is going to help them get out of the situation that they are in. That this will change the that the DCU will change the public perception of Warner Brothers and put it in a good light. And I will tell you, I think that's horse crap. If you wanted to get the public behind you, look back at when the stock was the highest, is when they released Zack Snyder's Justice League. If you really wanted to make it look good and get yourself out there and have good public perception, you would have continued with Henry Cavill after you had him go all over the circuit and say he was back. Zaslav was in charge at that point. Gunn wasn't in there yet, but Zaslav was definitely in charge. And Cavill made the announcement he was back. It hit, you know, it was a, a, it was just a bomb that hit the internet. It was talked about everywhere. There was so much buzz. And then a few months later, they pull the rug out from all of the fans and all the people that got them to where they were for the previous 10 years. You want to talk about public perception? It ain't going to get there. And I can guarantee you that Gunn's Superman's, his Superman film has to be the best film, superhero film, that has ever been created. And I just don't think James Gunn is up to that task. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, So you know that I collect the McFarlane figures, a lot of the Batman stuff and the the Snyder stuff. And it says, new rumor DC McFarlane leak listings have dropped, and they include some more DCAU re-releases, including the Batman the Animated Series Batmobile, and to go with the rumored Bat versus uh, Bruce versus uh, Bruce with Ace the dog, and a pair of San Diego Comic Con exclusives of Batman and Terry McGinnis figures to honor the 25th anniversary of Batman Beyond. Now, I'm going to ask you guys, since you guys are, I can't go to the San Diego Comic Con, and if any one of my one of my viewers is able to pick up a pair of those for me while they're at the San Diego Comic Con. I'd be eternally grateful. I will pay for them. I will pay for, to have them shipped. Uh, just reach out to me, and I would love to have that happen when the San Diego Comic-Con does come about. Uh, I'll be looking for that Batmobile. I would be interested in picking that up uh, when it does get released. But I, I'm not going to be able to go to the San Diego Comic-Con, and I would love to get the Batman and Terry McGinnis figures. Uh, so if, if anybody's out there willing to do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, here's the big news of the day that Warner Brothers CinemaCon panel starts today at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 4 p.m. Pacific. So that is right now as I'm doing this video, it's 20 minutes from now. And they do expect the first trailer to Joker, Folia Do, that it will drop and a possible update on DC Slate by James Gunn. Stay tuned. And from what we have heard, James Gunn is actually going to be attending that. So hopefully they'll reveal maybe the whole Superman suit. Who knows what they're going to do. But there should be some news coming out later today. And if I have to do a third video today and do that DC video later tonight, I will absolutely do that. But my trailer reaction to the second Joker film is only going to be available to members. And that's, again, because these studios, especially Warner Brothers, does not want me making money off of those Video, So I'm going to make them available to the people who pay for memberships and they can see them off to the side and still be able to see my reaction to those. All right, guys. So there you have it. There's some moving parts today with DC, with James Gunn, with uh, all these franchises and that panel will be hitting later. And so, like I said, I will be doing my reaction to the trailer when it does get released. And if I have to do another video talking about everything that was discussed, I will have that up later tonight. I do appreciate all of the support. Uh, I will be back with subsequent videos, so stay tuned. We'll see you guys on the next video.